Hi, it's Tamika, a new me, 1109, and I just wanted to stop by to share a really quick video. Just some things that I'm thinking about today. I um, actually had a coaching session with a fellow lab bander, and we're actually traveling the same road right now. She recently got a fill, and I also recently got a fill. I got a fill last week. So I know that I talked to you guys about back in October, thinking that it was time for me to get a fill and being told, no, wait, and remember the key point or the key walk away item from that appointment was, Tamika, I want you to be in control of your band and not your band be in control of you to the point where you're PBing or you're only eating soft foods, etc., etc. So I walked away in October, um, you know, again feeling like I needed a fill, needing to reevaluate what I was doing. Uh, I got away from a lot of soups that I was eating, went back to more solid foods, and uh, that fixed the situation for the most part. But now here we are, beginning of January, and um, I knew for sure that uh, it was time. I hadn't had a fill since August of last year, and um, I actually had an unfill in June, and so I, I was still trying to get back up to that place that I was in, which I thought was my sweet spot back June of last year. So I'm sort of, um, you know, little by little trying to get back up to that place. So I am 2.2 cc's away from that, so I got a 0.5 cc at some point. And uh, then I just got a point three cc's um, back in my band. But anyway, so hey, I ended up giving you a fill update while I was supposed to be talking about something else. <laughs> so the thing that I wanted to talk about was I am on the other side of a fill. And the person I was talking to today is also on the other side of the fill. And as I was listening to her talk, I heard some similarities into what she's currently going through and what I'm going through. So let me go ahead and share some tips and some reminders. When you get a lap band fill, no matter what the level is, you will have to gradually get back to the point of eating solid foods again. And it is almost as though Every time you get a feel, you'll have to learn how to eat all over again. So just sort of uh, keep that in the back of your mind. If you're a newbie or if you're a pre-op person, this is something that we have to, to deal with when we have lab band. Um, and, and we have to pull out all those rules all over again, making sure that we're not eating and drinking, which we should never do that at the same time. We need to make sure that we are chewing our food at least 30 times before we're swallowing it. We need to make sure that we're eating our protein first. Um, and, you know, all of those types of things. So where I am personally right now is it's safer. It feels safer to want to gravitate towards the softer proteins. But what happens with that is we're not allowing our band to do what it's meant to do. When we give our body, um, you know, a more solid protein, we're able to, like in my case, I'm, I'm not supposed to snack or graze. I'm supposed to have three meals a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's it. Nothing in between. No grazing, no snacking, no mindless eating. When I'm giving my body a more solid protein, I'm allowing it to slowly digest through my band, through my stoma, and um, and I'm able to stay full from meal to meal. If I'm eating more softer protein or if I'm eating more soup-like food that, or if I'm eating cereal with the milk, all of those things where I'm combining more liquids with the solids, I'm washing that stuff through my band a lot quicker. If I'm eating just the plain yogurt and I'm not having anything with it, then that's only going to stay with me for a certain period of time, and then I'll be hungry again. And then what's going to happen is I'll start feeling a little miserable. I'll start feeling like I'm deprived. I'll, you know, convince myself that the the um, half a cup to a cup of food is not enough, and you know I'll sort sort of start doing these mind tricks with myself. 
but you know the key is going back to the root are you eating solid proteins if you're eating more solid proteins and you're not eating um, you know just vegetables when you're sitting down to eat or just you know your potato chips or your white potatoes or whatever it is um, if you're eating those solid proteins your band will work with you a lot easier if you're eating easier than if you're just um, going to the soft proteins um, and so the deal and the commitment that I made um, with this particular client today was hey we need to hold each other accountable we need not to go to those safe places of you know soft proteins um, or of those junk type foods that are easier to go down than the, than the solid proteins we need to make sure that when we are eating and we feel like we're hitting a wall of oh no I'm PBing you know go back and ask yourself those questions did you chew well did you chew 30 times at least before you swallowed um, you know all of those types of questions we need to ask ourselves so I just wanted to just share a quick tip with you when you get a feel it's sort of like going back to the basics all over again most of us are on a gradual transition of liquids 24 like my thing is liquids 24 and then 24 um, soft mushies and then back to solids some people stay a lot longer some people are on liquids for seven days it's just a matter of figuring out what your surgeon has asked you to do and making sure that you follow that I have been in situations in the past where the one to two days of you know the liquids and the, and the soft foods wasn't long enough and I've had myself go longer on liquids um, but sometimes it, it's enough remember that your stoma is being manipulated so whenever you're getting a fill it's being manipulated even though you know I can look at it like oh I got 0.3 cc that's nothing you are being manipulated most of the time when I get fills all of my liquid is sort of drained and then and then put back in so you know it is um, deflating the band and then inflating it back and then that is all of that is irritating my stomach so I have to give it a rest um, or else if I start eating food too quickly I'm going to get in a situation of PB and speaking of PBs it's not normal to PB if you are um, having productive burps where you know the mucus is forming in your esophagus trying to push the food down because maybe you didn't chew too much or maybe you're eating too quickly or whatever um, if, and, and, and it's coming up if you're doing that on a regular basis start asking yourself some questions are you overfilled are you chewing well um, what is it that you're eating does it agree with you because some stuff just doesn't I can't eat steak um, no matter how well I think that I'm trying to chew it I just can't eat it so you know start asking yourself those questions and make sure that you don't stay in that PB zone for long because it's not normal don't don't get in the habit of carrying cups and bags around with you and thinking that you know as a lap bander I'm supposed to spit up from time to time when I eat no <laughs> it's not ha it's not healthy think slip band eroded band problems my health you know my nutrients I'm not getting enough think about those things don't allow productive burps be a norm for you so anyway, some things that were on my heart, on my mind, I wanted to share. Um, and I have some more videos to make, so I think I'm just going to sort of do a marathon tonight. Some people have asked me some questions, and I have committed to answering them. So you'll see me some more. Um, but until then, make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you're doing everything that you need to do in order to be successful on your journey, whether it be just life in general, lap band, uh, ruin why whatever your situation is do the best you can to be the best at whatever it is and I'll talk to you guys later bye